Hello everyone, this is a quick in-hand review of the Therm Pro Digital Indoor Thermometer featuring large display, fast refresh rate, temperature records, and highly accurate to within plus or minus one degree Fahrenheit and two to three percent relative humidity. As you can see, it is a two-pack. It includes these two units, which when you open the box, uh, they have batteries that are brand new. You unseal the battery, and then you open up the battery compartment here and put in your battery. And then you can put up this kickstand if you wish and lay it on the table, or you can mount it on your fridge with the magnet like this. And while we're here, uh, we can talk about its features. So you can set it between uh, Fahrenheit or Celsius by clicking this. So this button here, if we click it once, it should be displaying Celsius. And it is. And if we click it again, it'll go back to Fahrenheit. There it is. And um, additionally, we have our humidity up here. You can see, so it's 52% humidity right now. The low today was 34%. The high was 52%. The temperature is 66. And the low temperature was 64.6. And the high was 68.0. And if you want to reset this memory, I believe you just hold, uh, long hold this button on the back. Not sure for how long, so let's give it five seconds. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's see if that reset it. Yep, so as you can see now, it's displaying 52% humidity across both and 66 across both. So let's compare these to each other just to see if the claim of accuracy is, is the case. So it says on the box, it's plus or minus one degree Fahrenheit accuracy. Let's see how close these are in terms of temperature. We have 66.2 and 66.6. .6. So that is a 0.4 degree difference in temperature, which is well under the uh, one, full 1%. 1 so it's 0.6% under the max threshold. So I would say these are highly accurate for temperature. Now let's look at humidity. It says it's 52% humidity here and 52% humidity there. So I would say that these are definitely in sync with each other. So I would say I rep recommend uh, the Therm Pro. Um, maybe if you needed super accurate, you might wanna go with something even more uh, premium. But I would say for, if you're trying to figure out whether to run your humidifier, such as this one, or your dehumidifier, like this one, um, you, you can decide uh, based on what you're getting on your reading. So according to the instruction manual, if humidity is below 30%, it is dry. So that might be a good time to run your um, humidifier. And if humidifier, if humidity is between 30 and 60%, then it might be a good, it, it's perfect. Actually, that's like the Goldilocks zone. Uh, and then if the humidity is above 60%, that is listed as wet, which means you might want to run your dehumidifier. So you can search yourself to find out what, you know, doctors think is the right humidity. But according to the instruction manual, uh, that's what it recommends. And then it also uh, talks about uh, different temperature ranges. Um, but basically, you can use these thermopros to figure out whether to turn on your air conditioner or your heater, your humidifier or your dehumidifier. Of course, you know, listen to your body, but uh, this is a great thing to have. Um, you can also, uh, of course, you know, you leave one in your kitchen, leave one in your bedroom, maybe possibly your bathroom, and also uh, possibly your car if you're interested in just knowing you know, whether the stuff in your car, like I, I have expensive electronics sometimes because I'm a DJ, so I wouldn't want the car to get too hot while my stuff is in there. So I might stick one of these in the car just so I can be like, oh, I see that yesterday the temperature got up to X uh, temperature, which is either too high or not too high, depending. Uh, so I definitely recommend the Therm Pros. I think this was a very good value and I think they do everything that they advertise. So thank you for watching and wherever you are, have a good one.